Hey, hey, business owners and soon-to-be business owners. It's Kay again, and my goal is to serve 55,000 entrepreneurs, helping y'all move the needle forward in your business. So today we're going to talk about three tips to grow your business faster. And I think these are tips that every entrepreneur should know. So stay till the end so you can get all three. This is going to be a very short video. I don't like to take up too much time because guess what? I'm still in the trenches, I've got work to do, but I love helping people and sharing my experience and what I've learned as well. So I'm gonna be giving you my anecdotal advice from my journey and the things that I've learned. So let's get your business growing so you can have your best year ever. As you know, I like to start each video with a quote and this one is particularly awesome I think um, if you guys don't recognize this guy it's Mr. Wonderful aka Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank he's a business owner and this quote I found online and it really resonated with me and he says that his first real job he was working at an ice cream parlor and the second day he was asked to scrape gum off the floor. So he said to the owner, you didn't hire me to scrape gum. You hired me to scoop ice cream. The owner replied, what are you talking about? I'll do anything I want with you, she said. Get down on your knees and scrape that gum. Then he said, I'm not doing it. She said, you're fired. Kevin O'Leary said that's the last job he ever had and he owes that woman everything. And I believe this is true because sometimes it takes something that drastic and you really realizing, man, this is not what I wanna do in order for you to get out there and do something different. So I love this, this story. I love this quote, um, a similar experience happened to me in 2012 when I was working in the corporate world and couldn't even leave to take care of my daughter who had the flu because I had a big meeting and um, we had some investors coming in town and I was a major part of that meeting and could not miss it even when my daughter had the flu. So that's when I realized that that lifestyle was not for me. So I totally love this quote. It resonates with me. And if you are someone that is in a job, but you you know your purpose is to go and work in a your own business so that you can change people's lives, then just know that it will happen for you one day, just as it's happened for me and so many others. So love that quote, love that quote. I'll tell you that you can have the things that you want in life. And in 2019, it's 2020 now, today is January 20th of 2020. Happy MLK Day. Um, my kids are off school, so if you hear somebody come in and yelling mom, it's because my kids are out of school today. But I wanted to talk to you about my business and what I was able to do. So I more than tripled my business revenue in 2019. And there were four things that helped me to do this. One is learning daily, committing to consistently learning every single day, whether that's um, watching a YouTube video, listening to a podcast, reading books. Every single day, I'm learning something and I love it because I'm growing. Um, consistently working on my mindset each and every day because there are days as an entrepreneur when you are... You have your high days and then you've got your really low days like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? What was I thinking? You know, um, but working on your mindset will help you to get through those days and rethink what the bad days really mean, because really the bad days are just stretching you and it's providing you even more growth. Um, so even the bad days are you should be grateful for. I know I am. 
Mentors and courses helped me tremendously. And the last thing is being crystal clear on my goals. So when we talk about being crystal clear on the goals, that's going to help me talk about um, the three tips. Because part of being crystal clear on your goals, and I'm going to do these out of order. Um, I think I was asleep when I made this PowerPoint, half sleep anyway. But Part of being crystal clear on your goals is knowing your numbers. So you need to get organized and know exactly how much money you're spending and how much money you are making every single day. I measure what I want to improve. So I look at my business financials every single day. There is no day that I don't look at my financials and know if I'm in the black or in the red for that day. Now, you can holistically look at it um, weekly and monthly and yearly as well, but I look at it daily. So I know exactly what I'm spending on everything from payroll to product that is being sold. So I know exactly what is being spent. So part of growing your business faster is knowing your numbers, because if you know your numbers, then you can see where waste is happening. You can see if there's unnecessary money being spent, AKA waste. I've just repeated myself. You can also see if you might need to put more money into something, um, or find, any kind of weakness in your business based on the financials and also find strengths. So knowing your numbers is huge. I measure them every single day and it has helped. It helped me to over more than triple my business revenue in 2019. And for 2020, I plan to do the same thing. I am going to triple my business revenue again this year. So you've heard it here first, folks. You've heard it here first. The second thing that every entrepreneur should know and be doing is hiring great people. If you want to grow your business and grow it fast, then you are going to have to hire people that are great, but not just great, people that are better than you. You cannot be everything to everyone doing everything all the time. So you need to find someone, if you are sitting here and you're stuck doing your customer service, you need to find someone, go hire someone who can do customer service better than you can do it, okay? You wanna make sure that all of these people that you hire believe in your company and its vision and what you want, where you're headed. So you wanna make sure to share that with everyone that you hire and make sure you're hiring people that have great skills. So I know I'm not a web designer, although my first couple websites I did build myself because I didn't have the money to go out and find someone. But guess what? Every website after that, hire somebody, get on Fiverr, get on Upwork, find somebody that that's all they do all day. This is what they know how to do. And let them do that piece of the job. Instead of you spending forever doing it, they're an expert, let them do it. CPA, the same thing. Hire great people, folks. Hire great people. And the third thing is don't be afraid to increase your prices. Um, believe in what you have to offer. Even if you're not the cheapest, You are offering value and you are changing people's lives. Know that, claim that, understand that. Be the best at what you're doing. And don't be afraid to raise your prices. When I increased my prices, I did not, I always thought that I had to compete on price. But you don't. So when I increased my prices, I realized that not only did my business revenue grow but my sales did not decrease. I was selling, actually started selling more items when I increased my prices instead of racing to the bottom, like a quick race to the bottom. Who can lower their prices the fastest? I realized that you do not have to do that. And you especially don't have to do it with every product or, and if you have a service, that's even more of a reason not to, because you are unique and you are providing a service and 
you don't have to be the cheapest, but you do need to make sure that you're changing lives and providing tons of value for your customers. So these are the three tips. Know your numbers. Hire great people. Don't be afraid to increase your prices. The other thing is when you hire great people, make sure that you have a contingency plan, okay? You want to make sure that you have a contingency plan because you don't want to be um, hire somebody great and then they quit on you and you don't have a backup. Trust me, I learned this the hard way. This has happened to me <laughs> where I hired someone and then they didn't work out. They disappeared. Um, I've also had to fire people. So you just want to make sure you have a contingency plan for all of the work. You can have the life you want. If you enjoyed these three quick tips, hit the like button. Let me know. Also subscribe if you don't want to miss any of my awesome content I'm going to be sharing with you regarding how I have tripled my business revenue and how I will do it again this year. Then go ahead and subscribe. Remember that um, and hit that bell notification as well so you don't miss any videos about growing your business when I put them out. Remember that you can never hit a target if you are not crystal clear on exactly where it is. Know your goal. One of my goals is to help 55,000 entrepreneurs to move the needle with their business. Even if it's just an idea right now, I want to help you give you tips and tricks to be able to bring it to life. So please remember to come back and see me often. I plan to be putting out videos at least once every seven to 10 days. And I look forward to seeing you each of those days. Remember, if you are blessed with a lot, give a lot. If you learn a lot, teach a lot, aka just pay it forward. I try to live by this and I highly recommend it. Has anyone told you that you matter this week? Because you absolutely do. You matter this week, this day, and every day. Happiness is an inside job. So make sure you stay on your job. It all starts with one day, one step at a time. Peace, love, and purpose. Now you go and make it a great day. Love you guys and see you next time.